if you accept as the ground truth that we live in a socially inequitable society, if you're using data that's reflecting our society, it's going to amplify that. But then when you compound that by the fact that many of these algorithms and systems are being designed by a very homogenous and small minority of people, mostly white men, then their worldview is also being imported into these systems. And a lot of the imbalances that Kathy just outlined, as in who is lucky, who's not lucky, who's deserving of opportunity, or who's deserving of certain benefits, that's all playing out at a global scale and on not just one platform, but multiple. So it really um, sort of skews our view of reality in a way where you may see and consume information in a way that's confirming your worldview and making you think, oh, we live in an equitable society, but in reality, it's, it's the complete opposite happening. And um, it also serves to worsen what the status quo already is in many ways. And that if you, um, if we stick with the advertising examples, if, if you're advertising jobs that, and you're using an algorithm that has a racial and gender bias, then that's going to further compound who's getting the higher paid, paying jobs or who's getting better opportunities in society. And that's happening across several many different domains. Um, so in general, it's an interesting area. I came into this because I was working on civil rights issues and saw that big data, tech, and AI were all sort of infiltrating all of these issues and compounding them, making the issues that I was trying to help fix harder to fix. Um, and I think we're seeing that across the realm, whether we're talking about voting rights issues, school segregation, or even equitable employment these technologies are in many ways just worsening what's already not a great start.